and then lost all of his money in the stock market crash in 1929. So how did he get here to Vineland? He had read that Vineland had some acres of land available for a dollar an acre. So what he did is he walked from New York City down all the way to Vineland. When he arrived here, he literally ran into a real estate agent at night. So he waited for the guy's office to open and brought the last four acres of land here in Vineland. Sight unseen. So when he walked over to here, what he found was a junkyard built on swamp land. And he spent the night in an old abandoned bus and he had a dream that angels came to him and told him to build a palace. And they also told him to put all the spires on the roof of the palace. There's still more of them to be installed. This here is a replica of the turtle door that was used to enter the house. Eventually all these filled in with material around here is right now animals get in and out of here so the plan is to seal this up. The door weighs like eight to nine hundred pounds with a move with your hand. So the back side is concrete right now, but there's a uh, shells and material that to be applied to the back. The story goes that George had one small turtle shell in there. And when visitors came to the house, that he gave you one second to find the turtle shell, you would get free admission to the house. It was four times, depending upon the year, it was anywhere from 10 cents to 25 cents to get into the house and tour. George loved to have visitors. So as soon as the next tour group is in here, it comes back up from uh, downstairs, I'll take you in, show you a little bit of the room here, then we'll go downstairs to the most interesting room in the entire house.